6 weather forecast. Hi everybody, welcome back. Well, we had a drizzle and a dreary day here, but it didn't amount to anything and it's all moved off to the east and now we've got the skies trying to clear from the west. And with that on our weather almanac, uh, definitely a dismal day with 47 on the low and 51 on the afternoon high. Nothing officially in the rainfall department, but I felt some things falling from the sky and it was uh, definitely drizzle earlier on. You can see we started with a gray day and we've ended with it along the bayfront as of now. And again, the sky is trying to clear, but not happening yet here in town, but it is out to the west. 52 degrees. We've actually gone up one from our high of 51 and a north wind at 14 miles an hour. So temperatures around the region. Well, what's going on here in Freer, though? The sun's out there. That's why it's 61. And look at Catula at 68. That's where we're headed tomorrow because we're going to see lots of sunshine and Wednesday will be wonderful uh, before the weather slowly deteriorates on Thursday and then our big front on Friday. So that's kind of the timeline. 50s right now will go into the 40s tonight here on northerly winds that will add more chill to the air and a future tracker that shows those winds staying light to moderate at about 10 to 15 miles an hour through the morning. Tomorrow afternoon they lighten up but out of the east. That's the moist direction. But again, that'll keep our temperatures down a little bit here, but warmer inland. And then on Thursday morning, very light winds for us. And uh, then they continue to be out of the east on Thursday as we cloud up as the moisture starts to catch up with us. The marine forecast looks a lot better. Northeast winds 8 to 15 knots, slightly choppy bay waters and a moderate rip current risk with the uh, winds and seas coming down. There's the moisture that's left the area. Here is the clearing skies out to the west. You can see Catula getting in on the action. That's why they're so mild. A high pressure will come in with dry air with this before our next front, which is now around Lincoln, Nebraska. That will push through here on Friday. I think somewhere between around 1130 in the morning and two in the afternoon with more cold air and colder than what we've seen uh, today and yesterday. There's the dry air that will be with us though tomorrow and that means Mr. Sun will be paying us a visit here tomorrow afternoon. So the future tracker shows the clouds leaving the area overnight and through the morning. Then tomorrow we're going to see a sunny day and it's going to be a big thumbs up from the Convention and Visitors Bureau before it starts to cloud up again on Thursday, but it does get milder with more humidity. When the front arrives we'll see a few sprinkles so the potential rainfall forecast isn't showing much. 200s, 300s, 400s of an inch with our frontal system will be coming through with this big upper level low right here and that's going to drag some cold air in from western Canada but it's a quick hitter and it's not going to last too long as it pushes on through and high pressure takes over. We'll be down uh, near 40 degrees tonight and then there's the sunshine and mid 60s tomorrow. Tomorrow's a winter and uh, Preston will be itching to go not only tonight but also tomorrow. Tonight's uh, walking the dog temperatures drop into the upper 40s by 11 o'clock with the north wind so bundle up. Lows will reach the upper 30s inland to the mid 40s along the coast. We'll see 40 here in Corpus Christi but recover nicely to 65 tomorrow and 70 in Freer and out at San Diego. So tonight 40 degrees slow clearing and chilly with a north wind. <laughs> Seven day forecast. There's the 65 tomorrow, 72 clouding up on Thursday, a stray shower, 68 Friday, and boom, down to 35 degrees Saturday morning, 38 Sunday morning. But Sunday afternoon, we recovered to 70 and 77 a week from today. All right, that's a look at the weather. We'll have more right now with Pat.